Hi folks and welcome to the Hillbilly Kitchen. Today we're going to be zesting some lemon. Now the first thing you want to do before you zest any citrus is you want to wash it in hot water because most citrus fruit that you buy in the grocery store is waxed. You don't want that wax in your zest and Lord only knows what else it's picked up in transport. But wash it good in hot water. Now, you don't need to spend a fortune on a lemon zester. They're all different kinds, and the same method works for lemons, limes, and oranges. This is just a little cheapy Dollar Tree zester. I like it because it has a little bowl under it that catches whatever you zest. And you can even cover that with saran wrap and store that in the refrigerator if you need to. If you have an old style box grater, that's what this side here is for. That's your zester side. And these are really handy. You can zest on this side too. So anyway, when you're zesting your citrus, you don't want to get the white. If you get into the white, it will be bitter. And the reason why you zest is because the colored part, the very outside of the skin is full of oil and it's full of fragrance and flavor. And all you do to zest is you just rake it across your zester and take the color off. Now, like I said, you don't want to go down any deeper, but this is the secret to making everything you make citrus more flavorful and more fragrant. So don't throw away your lemon peels and your orange peels and before you squeeze your lemons for your lemonade and stuff make sure you do this and in fact this is a secret to good lemonade it's not hard just takes a minute and like I said you don't want to go down real deep that's about all you want to take off there when you can start to barely see the white through it you can do a little bit more right there that's all you want to do. Whether you're making pies, cookies, frosting, whatever, this will make it smell like lemon and taste like lemon. For more flavorful citrus dishes, use that zest. It's not hard and it makes all the difference in the world. Thanks for joining us in the Hillbilly Kitchen. Don't forget to click like and subscribe before you leave. And until next time, remember to put God first.